The video you've been waiting for, this is the brand new update, update 3.2.1 and we are talking about the PP2000 with its extreme weapon buff. What's up troopers, my name is Neon, I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're talking about the PP2000 what has been buffed to an extreme level. And I'm also going to be telling you what exactly the method of class I use. Before we get into the video though troopers, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it. We are very close to 12,000 subscribers, so I would really appreciate that. And of course, leave a like, thank you very much. So in this recent patch, the PP2000 has been buffed to an extreme level. This weapon currently did up to 22 damage and now it's been buffed up to 28 damage and that is from 50 meters i don't think you guys understand how crazy that is in a single gunfight to upper torso with the safar this weapon will actually outperform that weapon i can't believe i'm even talking about that well the safar does have a higher headshot multiplier so of course you will probably lose if it hits you in the head but just normal gunfight that will actually outperform it because the rate of fire is just so much more quicker so the pp2000 can do up to 650 of rate of fire it can do extreme amount of damage up to 28 you can do accuracy up to 42%, range up to 42%, and handling up to 56 What I really go for with the PP2000 is really more of the close sights. You don't want to be trying to use anything further, really anything more than 2x. So my go-to sights are the Reflector Sight and the PKAS2X. And they are the two sights I go for. And there actually is two magazines with this PP2000, but all I use is just the extended mags. That of course has to be your first one. And they actually have a default magazine. It's only up to like 21 bullets no one really uses that but if you do run out of all your 45 bullets it doesn't hurt to have that extra magazine kind of cool to actually see a portal weapon have actually two magazines but on the muzzle side you have two options you have the default muzzle or the suppressor and now this weapon is so much more better you can use suppressor and do surprisingly well with all them flank throughs and just being sneaky it really does feel like using a pp29 of a suppressor but if you don't care about being heard on the mini map then this is the go-to time to just go loud spray and pray and just use the default muzzle i've been trying to do some suppressor the best i can but for some reason this weapon keeps getting me with that default muzzle the end of the day troopers is an smg you have to be nitty and gritty in that situation you can't be so far at the back you might as well go loud and charge so what's the point even using the suppressor honestly you're gonna lose some damage so you might as well just use the default muzzle but yeah troopers i've been having so much fun with the pp2000 and i really want you guys to give it a go yourself you have to let me know in the comment section what you really think about this video i also have an mtar video what is before and after the update and that will be coming out tomorrow anyway troopers hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave like comment subscribe be a part of pink Wigami, and i see you troopers in the next video peace